back to Fuji's Blitz and now we're going to look at the IS-2SH which is in the stores right now. Uh, is it worth a look? Well, this one's a mixed bag in, in my opinion. The IS-2SH, well, it's neither an IS-2. Uh, it, it's a tank that never really existed, although it was a concept. It's a funky looking tank and as you can see the turret is rear mounted. But don't let, that's deceiving, as we'll get to in a moment. I mean, it's a nice looking tank and it's a heavy. This is a Russian tier eight heavy. Now it's currently in the store for gold and it comes in two, well, three bundles, actually. You can get what's called the Soviet eights, which is the ISU and the IS-2 SH. You can get it on its own with all the equipment unlocked or you can get it on its own without any equipment. So, Without the equipment, it's 6,500 gold. With all the equipment, it's 7,500 gold. With two tanks, it's 10,500. So if you haven't got both tanks, that is worth a look. If you haven't got the tank, but you've got the ISU, then for the extra thousand guys, I would get the tank with all the equipment unlocked. Now, as I said, it's a funky looking tank and it's rear turret mounted, which you would think would impede the gun depression. Wow. A couple of things about this tank. Firstly, this tank is effectively got the same gun as the IS-5. And oddly enough, the IS-5 has less gun depression than this thing. This has seven degrees, whereas the IS-5 only has five degrees. Also, unlike some of the rear turreted mounted tanks, if you stick the tank over, if you stick the turret over the back, it doesn't increase the gun depression or over the sides. You get seven degrees all the way around 360. Armor profile wise, well, as you can see here, the front of the turret is pretty solid and so is that upper glacius plate. Rest of the tank, it's not too bad. This is it facing off against an IS-3 and you can see there, I mean, it, it's, it's pretty tough. You can side scrape in it. it. It's a sluggish tank, but then again, it is a heavy tank, don't forget. Gun-wise, it's the same gun as the IS-5, the 122mm, so you're going to get, what, 232 pen, rising up to 284 with your heat, with pretty decent alpha, I mean 500, 425 and 625 respectively. It's not a bad gun, but like the IS-5, it does struggle to pen and it's got a pretty long load time. This is the loadout I normally take. I take those calibrated shells for the extra pen and I also make sure I get the vertical stabilizer and all that sort of stuff to get that aim time down. Because the aim time reticle, well, it's a Russian heavy guys and like the IS-2 in the Chinese line and like the IS-5, it, it takes f forever for the gunner to get his, you know, shit together. Simple fact, I mean, Russian gunners are notoriously lazy and slow, and the gun just takes forever to aim. It does have quite a long load time as well. I mean, this is not a quick loading tank. I mean, you're looking at 12 seconds near his damn it um, to get this thing loaded. But if you pen it and you load it and you get the aim time well, well God, this thing really does pack a punch. That combined with its armor, it is a formidable tank. And at the moment for 7,500 gold, I think it's worth a look. Don't get me wrong, it's not an easy tank and it's not OP and it's by far not the best heavy at tier eight. And it's certainly not the best heavy in the Russian line at tier eight. But it is a nice tank. It's unique because of that rear mounted turret. But it's the same gun as the IS-5. It's effectively an IS-5 but with a different armor profile. I like it. It's, it's difficult to play because of the load time, the aim time, the gun, the sluggishness. But it's an interesting tank to play. Not only that, I mean the turret, is, I mean, it's not the turret, the armor is really really troll now a couple of things about this tank one it will struggle to pen things like an is6 unless you you know unless you get up close and personal or you load heat in fact it struggles to pen quite a lot of the heavy tanks in its tier the other thing about it is you can get up close and personal in it and a lot of people will bounce you 
if you're, you know, an IS6 will bounce you up close and personal. As you can see there, I mean, I had to switch to heat because I just couldn't pen it with APCR. The, 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 the pen values on the APCR are pretty poor, just like they are on the IS5. But, you know, you get up close and personal, and it's a different kettle of fish. I mean, you can angle it up, and the tanks are going to struggle to pen you. And if you wiggle and jiggle like this, you know, up close and personal, that poor old tank is just having a bad day. He couldn't pen me. Okay, I'm not going to set the world on fire in this thing. I never have. I very rarely play it, to be honest with you. But I do like it. It's a nice heavy. It's a bully. I mean, this thing, you can stick it on the front line, get nose to nose, up close and personal, and you will just intimidate intimidate the hell out of your opponent. And that's why I like this tank. It really is a bruiser. It's not a tank that you can sit back and snipe. It, it's not a tank you can camp in because the aim time is too long, the reload is too long, the accuracy is not great, the penetration is not great, and you know, you, 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 you're exposed from distance. Okay, I, I, I in that game, I managed to take the, the PTA from distance. But don't do that often, guys, because you will struggle in this tank. It's not a tank designed for sitting at the back and trying to snipe over anybody. This tank is purely designed to be a bruising bully. Trust me. Um, in a minute, a T-49 is going to come around the corner and I am just going to, well, just get as close as I can to him and try and narrow him down because I will bruise him. Apologies for the helicopter noise, but this is Dubai and everybody flies bloody helicopters nowadays. So as you can see, I mean, we've bounced over a thousand. We've only done 1,200 in damage, but we've been holding our own. And we've basically been bullying and intimidating, which is exactly what this tank is meant to do. Uh, I've seen many people in this tank and they try and sit at the back and snipe, and it's just not, not the done thing. It really isn't. I mean, I, I, I like this tank. And for 7,500, you're gonna get a premium tier eight medium in the Russian line. Not a bad credit earner, by the way. I mean, it's a good credit earner, 175% credit coefficiency. That, once you learn how to play it, is a nice tank. I mean, I, I love it. I, 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 like I said, I don't set the world on fire in it, but I like it. It's a nice addition to the garage and 7,500 for a tank with all the equipment on lock at tier eight shouldn't be balked at, especially when, you know, for $50 at the moment, you can get a tier eight medium. That's, yeah, it's just the way things work. So if you haven't got this tank, it is worth the look. It's a reasonable price. It's not a bad price. However, as I said, you're not getting that much different to an IS-5 other than a different armor profile. It is the same gun. It has the same gun weaknesses as the IS-5. It does lack that punch on its APCR, which is a shame because it's a beautiful, beautiful tank. And if that aim time and gun handling was slightly better, then guys, I mean, it's a nice, nice tank. And if you like those heavies where you can bully, then, you know, guys, this really is the tank for you. I mean, you can just go out and have fun and look, you'll bounce and bounce and bounce. Anyway, I'm going to show you one last game. This was yesterday. I was going out on here on Mayan. And I'm going to show you what I mean about this tank being more effective up close and personal. So I'm going to take a pop at the WZ first. Hello. Boom. There you go. Um, and then I'm going to go, I'm going to avoid all those tanks over there. And an IS-5 is going to pop on the left in the, in the moment. I'm going to try and give him a bit of a hard time. And this is what I mean about the armor difference. I mean, it's the same gun, but the armor is completely different. So look at this. I mean, lay him at that bottom plate, wait for the reticle to come down. Then you get some nice damage going in. It will easily pen the lower plates of an IS-5. Now the IS-5 is focused on the RU. I'm going to try and pop him again. And we do. And we're doing 400 alpha rolls here, which is nice. That's a nice amount of damage for a, for a tier 8 heavy. I, I, I think it's really nice. So now I'm going to try and get down there. I'm going to give them, you know, try and help my RU out. I'm going to get between the two of them so the RU can get around the back of me and keep smacking him, which he does. Hopefully the RU is going to finish him off. 
Uh, yes, he does. But now the RU gets smacked by that IS-6 over there. Now, this is where the tank, in my opinion, comes into its own. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna try and face off against this IS-6. Uh, completely bugger the first shot up because you never fire this tank on the move like that because the shots will go everywhere. I, I completely screwed it up for the moment, but you know the IS-6 is going to get around the side and smack me. I'm going to try and smack him. I do. I'm sticking in heat, by the way, to make sure I do pen. Now I'm just going to face hug him. And this is where the tank comes into its own. Face hug him like this. He is now going to struggle to pen. There we go. First bounce. Oh, poor, poor IS-6. Looking for that place to hit me. Can't find it. He's now loaded. He's going to give it another bash. Come on. There we go. And another massive bounce. This is what you can do in this tank. And this is why I think it's just a big, mean bully. I don't think he pens the next shot because I think my toon mate comes around the corner and blasts him to kingdom. No, he does pen. Um, but there you go. It's a nice tank. It's a good addition. And for 7,500 guys, I think it's worth a look. Anyway, I've been Fujit. That has been the IS-2SH. Currently in the stores for, well, either 10,000, 7,500 or 6,500. I think it's worth a look. By all means, you know, let me know below. If I had 7,500 gold, I would buy this tank. Comment, like, and everything below. If you haven't yet, press subscribe. Lovely thing to do. And until the next time, stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking. Because you know, guys, that really is what it's all about. Having fun and being happy. And don't forget to send those replays either to my Discord channel or to my email. 